police. Because you one of them, tell them. But I say, I may shit on you people. When we're gonna defund you. Are you there for the fucking police? Well, fuck or University of Miami. The Bogas in group of me saving my fucking wanted a brief video about something that happened to me this past weekend. So I've been posting a lot of my pictures on Instagram, but I've also been doing a couple photo walks here locally and posting those on YouTube as well. I wanted to get out there and start taking pictures of this amazing historical event that's going on down here. It's a lot of people standing up against the communist government in Cuba. One of the lessons I took away from this past weekend was a need to be hyper aware of what's going on in your surroundings. Especially as a street photographer, you're going around taking pictures of people. Some people don't like that. Although generally I ask first or I stay at a reasonable distance. And I understand some people really don't like their picture taken and that's perfectly fine. Generally speaking, if somebody doesn't want me taking their picture, you can tell. So at this protest, I became so focused on getting the composition and capturing these people's emotion and their passions that I zoned out and I found myself with tunnel vision. So I want you guys to take a look at this clip and I'll explain it as we move forward. Right here, as you can see in the video, I'm just taking a picture of this guy with his face painted. I thought it was an awesome picture to get a nice close up. And what I didn't realize is look behind him. There's another photographer there that I had already passed earlier that day. So I didn't think anything of it. I took the pictures and the guy walked by me and made a few comments. The feeling that I got at first was, okay, well, I may have inadvertently set off this guy's radar. He thinks that based on his comments that I am here trying to capture pictures of the people for some nefarious reasons. So you can hear him calling me some names, calling me a communist, and a few other colorful Cuban phrases as he walks away. I move on. So now I'm becoming a little bit more aware, but as you see in this clip here, I'm walking towards another area. And keep in mind, the GoPro's on my backpack strap and it's slightly pointed a little bit to the right of where I'm walking. So where you're seeing the GoPro points may not be where I'm looking at the time. Um, as I walk by, I start noticing <laughs> that this guy is almost right in front of me and I didn't even realize it. So the guy walks by, makes a few more comments, insinuates that I'm with the, some police and you know makes a comment about my University of Miami hat and iterates that I'm a communist and that I need to tell him if I'm with the police. I want to be careful in this video. I blurred out his face because if the man has some type of mental illness that I may have accidentally triggered without even realizing it, it's not his fault and I am sensitive to that. After I was done and I started walking towards the rail line we have here to head back home, I passed by a parking lot and kept on walking. I noticed to my right that this guy was walking out of the parking lot and just coincidentally um, I don't think he was following me at that point, but I was already ahead of him walking home. Uh, the guy catches my eye as I'm almost past him and walks up, proceeds behind me and walks around as he's taking rapid fire shots with his camera, uh, trying to document, I guess, what I look like or my face. And he says, why are you following me? And then I, he walked off, I walked off. When you're out there doing your street photography, just be aware that there are people out there that may have some type of mental illness, may have a little bit higher level of paranoia, who knows what the case may be, that you taking pictures of them may trigger that. And just be aware of who you're taking photos of. Uh, there's not much you can do in this situation. If somebody's paranoid that you have bad intentions, you're not gonna be able to talk them out of it. Best thing to do is just walk away and try and avoid the situation. Walk into a public place, make sure that nobody's following you. Um, I hope you took something away from this video. If anything, just a, a, a reminder to be more aware. Thank you very much, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.